what you speak is what you create right? so if you are not getting the right answers you are asking the wrong questions very easy right i'll tell you a quick story so this was a financial services organization we were asked to do some uh, leadership programs and this was no sooner the easter bombings had happened a month or two after that right all right so bad time in our lives bad time in the country's existence yes and we were told sanjeev these guys are not achieving targets they are all branch managers of this company and they don't believe they can achieve targets in this time all right now i have actually in my life studied a lot of things but finance is not one of them <laughs> right my knowledge of finance and financial services is close to zero <laughs> all right so i'm thinking now how on earth can i have these guys <laughs> to achieve their financial of leases and then loans and whatever some of the things i don't understand also how, how do i do this right so started talking to them say sanjay and they tell me sanjay no way it's really difficult nobody wants a lease nobody wants this nobody wants a loan we can't 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 so something anyway told me ask them these questions and i did the question i asked was so tell me how many people in the financial services industry i know there are people in the industry here you may know the answer i didn't know the answer i asked them and what they told me is about 100000 people in the industry all right i don't know whether it's correct or not let's take the number so it's right 100000 people out of these 100000 people is anyone achieving the target you know no i didn't say that what you speak is what you create right if i said is anyone achieving the target one of the answers they could have given me was no <laughs> you will get answers to the questions you ask let's remember that also so what i asked him was not that i said out of this 100000 what percentage do you think are achieving the target now you see when i asked them a question like that their mind immediately goes to think what percentage now these are these are big learning here right i hope you're getting the point right you get answers to the questions you ask so if you are not getting the right answers you are asking the wrong questions very easy right so what percentage of people are achieving the target now they have to give me a percentage so they told me 5% what do you think does 5% sound good or bad now if you if you have your sales reps are only 5% achieving the target you are not going to be happy right those either won't be happy right not happy how many of you guys are not happy 5% achieve it but that this is not 5% of 100000 100000 in industry right Now, how many people am I talking to? About twenty to thirty people in this room. How much is five percent of hundred thousand? Five percent of hundred thousand. Five thousand, <laughs> right? I found my hook, right? And I asked them, "Are you telling me that there are five thousand people in this industry who are better than you?" And that was all I had to ask them, right? Are there five thousand people? If there are five thousand people achieving target, are there five thousand people who are better than you? And the answer was no. In that case, why can't you achieve the target? And now the mindset shifts from cannot achieve to how to achieve. Are you understanding? It goes from I cannot achieve to how can I achieve? And it's a big mindset shift. And the good news is they ended up achieving. <laughs> All right? Are you understanding? Yeah. What you speak matters. So what I what I speak matters. Words do matter. Is that a good idea? Good idea, guys. Good idea.